Hello fellow Shimmy Shams. I'm going to be reacting to the Falcon Heavy launch. Uh, it's more an excuse for me to talk about space than anything, because I, I missed the like initial launch, so I, I just kind of wanted to watch it. And I said it's the middle of the night, and I decided I'm going to go ahead and, well, going to go ahead and react to it. So, here we go. Three, two, one, go. For terminal count. Ten, nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ignition. It's about where I uh, came into this stream because it was uh, buffering for me. Um, and I, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Um, to me, this is possibly one of the coolest things that have come out of the last, I'll say, 40 years of space flight. Sorry, my ear is itching and I can't get to it. Okay, there we go. It, it, this is by far, like, also, I, I just want to say, like, it's it's very special to me. Um, I've always loved space. Um, everything about space, it's, to me, it's wonderful. Um, space is one of those things that... One of the few things that me and my dad um, always love. Um, he almost uh, went to school for astronomy, but he wound up doing nursing instead. But it's just something that I've always loved. I've always wa liked watching space documentaries. I've always liked watching space launches of any kind. Um, generally, that's just one of the things. Like, I'm trying to get into journalism, and I'm hoping that SpaceX continues to succeed because my dream um, story to write about is literally about SpaceX going to Mars. Like a, a continuing story of them going to Mars. And I want I want that to be I want that to be a part of a potential career in journalism. I want to be a journalist who writes at least occasionally about space and, and honestly I love things about space because I feel like it is the future of our species um, I mean I, that may sound cliche but it is something that genuinely excites me like normally I you know on, on Twitter on you most of what I do here on YouTube you know most of it has to do with well, right now it's gaming, but I'm going to get back into um, what I mainly do uh, pretty soon is MLP content. But at least today I wanted to um, express the fact that space is something I genuinely care about. If there is a SpaceX launch um, and I'm free during that time, I might start recording my reaction to it like as it's happening because to me it is one of my favorite things it is truly a wonderful beautiful thing and honestly I can't express it enough um, someone on Twitter they said I didn't know you were into space and I said space will always be my first love um, and that's just, that's just the thing. I love space. It's one of those things 
where I couldn't possibly express it enough. Maybe I'm overly hyped about space, but it's just one of those things um, for me. Um, growing up, I always loved space, and it just, it always gave me something to look at, you know, look forward to, a launch of the space shuttle, um, seeing the Russians go into space, seeing the early days of the Japanese space program, where they would launch a JAXA, I think it was JAXA, uh, rocket, I mean, they, they didn't really get that all that far, I was excited there for a while, because it looked like they were getting into something, but I mean... They're not like SpaceX. SpaceX genuinely amazes me because of how fast they've gone from zero to hero in no time flat. Like, literally, in 2002, they were just a team of engineers with the dream of one day um, colonizing Mars. And here we are about... We're, here we are 16 years... Nearly 16 years... Um, since they created the company and they have a heavy lift vehicle that has succeeded minus the center core but we'll get to that in a minute to me it's just really exciting um but yeah the mission was an absolute success considering what they were expecting what they were expecting was an, a catastrophic failure a uh, unscheduled um unscheduled uh, rapid disassembly or whatever they call it um, but what ended up happening was everything went according to plan even uh, the, um, the even the video feed of Starman stayed up for I think it was five and a half or six and a half hours um, and then they just turned it off I mean I mean, you're not really going to miss anything after that time. It's just basically drifting away from Earth at very fast speeds, way over the speed limit. <laughs> anyway, um, the only thing that really went wrong is, oh, oh, and also they had like two boosters landing, and it was really cool. I would look up the launch if I were you. Like, after you, if you finish this video. If you don't, like, go ahead and look up the launch if you don't want to finish this video. But, the only thing that went wrong was the center stage, the central, um, first stage. Uh, when it was coming back down, one of the three necessary, um, one of the three necessary boosters um, fired, and the other two didn't, and it wound up landing, it landed at 300 miles per hour. Now, obviously, it also missed, it also missed the drone ship, which obviously means that whenever you're anything over 50 miles per hour and you're hitting water, it's like hitting land, which means that it's basically an exploded pancake at this point. We haven't gotten visual confirmation out into the in the public of the impact, but considering the loss of the feed and the, the fact that it didn't come back, I'm going to assume that the camera was probably damaged from the impact because it also damaged the drone ship as well. So, unfortunately, hashtag pray for Cinecore is not going to bring back the center core. But what we do know is they need to develop the center core maybe a little bit more. Or maybe just, you know, be more on top of it. Because honestly, they know what they're doing. They're, they're at the point where they know what they're doing, they just had to do some tests. And really the only experimental part of the rocket was, one, the fact that they strapped three Falcon 9s together. But the two that landed were pre like they used them before they knew that they were li reliable really i think the question was the center core why they had it landing out at sea because they might have been concerned and their concern was warranted apparently and, but 
Otherwise, the mission was a screaming success. There was a crowd. It went wild every time a stage was done and started. It was fantastic. And also, the Starman stream, I'll give a, um, a link to the five or six hour stream in the description. It was some of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was literally just a, a dummy in a SpaceX uh, spacesuit that was like driving the car like this with a sticker uh, um, on the uh, um, console of the car that says don't panic and it has a little miniature uh, Hot Wheels Tesla Roadster with a little mini dummy inside of it that looks like the dummy that's in the actual car. So it's a little bit um, self-referencing meta and it's amazing. So anyway I'm going to let you guys uh, um, go but you know it's just one of those things like I love space and I thought I would just share with you that love for space like I know that I already uh, made this clear on Twitter but I decided to go ahead and talk about it because honestly I just love space and honestly I don't mind I love making videos about things that I love. That's why I do gaming videos, that's why I do MLP videos, and I guess that's why I'm making this kind of reaction video. I didn't intend for this to be like 11 and a half minutes, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.